Got it. All right. So for this Got it. for this next segment, I would like to tell you about a uh, coworker, a coworker of mine, and their teaching style. Oh, Kyoki. Might seem kind of weird. Um, in in your previous employment ventures, have you ever had students that you had, or even new employees that you had to train? Uh, I was an acting teacher for three semesters at Valencia West Campus. Wow. Okay. So, so you definitely have teaching experience. Okay. So, yeah. um, what was your teaching style? I mean, obviously, acting is a little unique compared to Western Civ or math, but. Um, how would you teach? What was your... Technically, it was Socratic. It was more questions, but... Uh, and lecture, because... it will. And then we did a lot of improv games that the improv game itself taught them a piece of uh, what was happening around a theater. Uh-huh. So that way, it was to play an improv game, and you learned what the parts of the theater were and stuff. It was, it was, that it was, actually does sound kind of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Instead of, instead of here, read this book... Uh, I had a hundred and eight percent retention rate because uh, people joined the class after it started. Wow! <laughs> I died. Uh, it's funny when you die, you just kind of pop back into existence. I don't. I don't think there's a penalty. That's good. At least I don't know of a penalty. If there is well, a penalty, please tell us in the comments. The existence is dance. The penalty. What if that's the penalty? Is existence? I could go the distance. So we're. Your, your, too many of your students were passing, so they assumed that you were just giving out all A's? <laughs> uh, no, unfortunately, we didn't have everyone pass. We're literally, like, because it was an acting class mm -hmm. and, like, a theater class, the only grade you got was showing up and oh. did, do, participated in the improv games that week and learned the stuff you had to learn that week. I didn't even do homework. Uh, the... But if, if people just stop showing up, and then they're like, "Oh, aren't you going to pass this anyway?" I was like, "What, what, what do you expect? You didn't do any of the yeah, freaking... for real." But you were just doing blah 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 blah. That's what the class was. You got to show up and actually participate. So what I'm hearing at home is, if you want an easy A, come take Trotsky's class, but you have to actually participate. But he won't give you homework. If he does, he really doesn't like you. That's what that's I'm for hearing. sure. That's for sure. If I gave you homework, I did not like you. So in, in the field that I work, it is routine for us to have students. It's routine for us to have people who have graduated uh, with the degree required to work in my field and doing like postgraduate education and training, if that makes sense. Sure. And so the teaching style amongst myself and my colleagues kind of varies. And I've got this one colleague, this, this one person I work with, she's very harsh like not unprofessional but harsh and I kind of and I, I've had I've had learning experiences like that myself where you just kind of have to do it and try your best and learn and usually that person really is trying to make you know it, it's really in your best interest their intent at least uh, but it's it can be really tough whereas my approach is more a lot of what-if scenarios where I'll yes I expect you to know what you need to know for whatever topic we're, we're discussing. Um, and as long as you know the topic and you understand what you need, you know, the basics, we're going to go into more details using real life examples uh, or a lot of what if scenarios and then relate them back to the, the principles upon which you're supposed to know. And I've been very successful with teaching my students and my postgraduate individuals who were training. And so it's, Unfortunately, the, the training that we do is sometimes it's only a few weeks for students, but for others, it's for people who are actually going into the field, they have to do this for like a whole year. And they kind of bounce from one person to another for a, for a period of, of weeks where they focus on specific topics. And we're developing this program, uh, and it's it's going to be very good. But so I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to approach this person and say, hey, you're, you're being a bit too tough. Uh, because that's it's her decision on how to do that, and there's a place for that style of teaching. Um, but I'm I wonder at what point is it doing more harm than good? Because some of the feedback from students already is such that well, I don't feel I wasn't really. It's not that I wasn't challenged; it's that I felt like there was no way to actually succeed with this person. But at the same time, 
they did have to go study and they did learn what they needed to learn. So which I think things don't funny. have to suck. No, this this That's person true. needs to stop this teaching method immediately. <laughs> that, that things don't have to suck. I'm so tired of people like, well, no, it was important to be tough and stern on them. No, there are some people that need some stern things in their life and a sterner hand, like kids that are freaking acting up. But the you, to do that as a teaching thing for people that are going to do this as a lifestyle. Uh, no, that's just someone that's a sadist. 